guys. Things coming at you. So it's been a while since I put up a BSWS video. Uh, I had a lot of stuff going on with the holidays. Um, I just finished moving, and uh, I had to make a round three display video for the ACBA World Championship Tournament. So it's been pretty hectic, so I haven't really put up a video for a while. Um, there's not going to be too much to this video. It's going to be pretty simple, just like a little update thing. And uh, But before I get started with anything, I just want to give a big thanks to my man, uh, the King Beastman 82 for hooking me up with this award plaque. Uh, I love it. You know, when I got this, I was just, I started geeking out a little bit. I'm like, man, that's pretty cool. You know, and there's been a couple guys in the community that's got one of these. Um, JD Meg got one. Uh, Boog Nice got one. And I believe JRA Nightmare got one. I'm not sure about that. Um, if he hasn't got one, he probably will soon because he really deserves one. He's a big inspiration in the community, uh, you know, especially of me. So, but yeah, the King Beastman just is always doing really nice stuff. And um, for those new guys to my channel or those guys that don't really know, um, the TBS stands for The Battle Show. And it's a little show that he hosts. Um, it's been on hiatus for a while because of the tournament going on, but I'm sure he'll be back after the tournament. And it's just, you know, he pits guys against each other and stuff. And it was actually me and him that um, did the first battle show. And um, I'm honored to be one of those guys, you know. So really cool. Um, a couple other things about the Beastman is that he does, uh, he customizes and he makes figures that I don't see anybody else making. I mean, it's just stuff that, um, you know, puts together a lot of cool teams and brings out characters that are very rare, and it's just really cool. And uh, and he's a big dog lover, too, you know. And so go check out his channel. I'll post a link to it down below. So I just wanted to give a big thanks to him. So I've been messing around on Facebook, taking some pictures trying to not use anything but the balance of the figure and I'm just um, you know no wax under the feet no stands no strings nothing except for the figure itself and I don't want them leaning up against anything either I'm just calling it no stands attached just taking pictures here and there and oh see it didn't last very long on that one you can see I got nothing on the bottom of his foot or anything. I wanted to try to get a 360 before he fell, but I could probably get him back in that picture, but it's a little hard. And what I had, I had him up on the on his toe, and that was it. That was the only thing he was on. I don't feel like getting it back in there, though, because it took me a little while. All about balance, the surface you're putting them on. You know, I was trying on this first to take the picture. This is what I take a lot of my pictures on is just this foam. You know, with the brick background. I just think it looks nice that way. But there was no way in hell I was getting them on this. This just isn't a sturdy enough. I mean, it is, but it moves too much. So, See, I mean, I, I could get them up there if I lean them up against something. But I'm just trying to improve my posing. You know, I think that's one of the weakest things in my displaying is my posing. So, I'm trying to get on like a Charles Dukes type of level. I just think he poses the figures. Him and Fernando Tron, those two guys pose their figures just amazing. So, just trying to practice and get things right. And for anybody that's like, oh, big deal, all you had was one foot, try it and see if you can do it. You know, I dare you to try it with any figure. And this guy's got these crazy ankle pivots, so it's even harder if they're loose, which this one is pretty loose. So. I just dare you to try it. There's, I put a couple pictures up on Facebook if you want to see some other ones. I did one with like Spidey in a crouching pose with Red Hulk and then another one with him with Beast. And it's all about the figure's posture and their balance, nothing else. So some more NSA stuff. Uh, and the whole point of the no stands attached thing is... I don't want the figures falling over. I want them, and there he goes. He was about to go over. See, I gotta get the balance right. Um, I want them to be a long-term pose that he that can hold there for a while. I don't want them falling over like Quicksilver did. Now that all depends on, you know, what you're standing them on, the the tightness of the figure, 
uh, you know, if you're going to have your kids running by and stomping on the ground and the thing's going to be falling over, you know. I mean, there's a lot of things to factor in, but I want to try to get them so they're long-term poses. Now, this pose, it's just Mikey on one foot, but it's still not the easiest pose, even though it's easier than the Quicksilver because the turtle feet are so much bigger. But I want to make sure he's not leaning on anything. I mean, not even another figure at this point. I mean, it is cool to use figures with each other and stuff like that, but just trying to have them in like an attack pose with one leg up. and now, It's not as easy as it looks. A lot of time I'll see a, a pose in a video and I'll try, like somebody else's video, and I'll try to recreate it, and it's not that easy. So Last week on the Facebook page from when this video is coming out, it was NECA Saturday. Um, every Saturday trying to do a theme now over there on the ACBA Facebook page. It's pretty cool. I think the first one was Soda, Street Fighters, and now it's Transformers, and last week it was the Turtles, so I just got a couple poses here. I'm going to link the Facebook page in the underbar. If, if you guys aren't a part of that group yet, you're really missing a lot of fun. It's a real good time over there. Uh, just more talking about the the posing and stuff like that you know I, I just got them held up with each other so like Don's leaning forward Leo's leaning back but he's kind of braced up with Don and um, Mikey kept falling down out of that pose I had him in so to, to make him more secure I got him braced up against Raph a little bit and Raph is just totally stable so um, you know, just more posing without stands, but using figures' posture to help pose each other. And these aren't crazy poses or anything like that. They're just, you know, I'm just trying to do little examples. Here is a, uh, this is a Toy Biz Showdown Spider-Man, and this is a Hasbro Marvel Universe Spider-Man. Uh, the Showdown Spider-Man is just awesome, really cool. Um, now that's a single carded one and it came with like this thing you put on his back. I'll show you that in a minute. It's like his spider sense. So his eyes are green. They're not white. The only thing now, I have no idea which Spider-Man uh, series this is. I'm not sure. But just look at the, the feet size, first of all. I mean, come on. These things are like little baby toes compared to these man feet. Uh no ball sockets on the hips and I mean even the hands the head everything it's just much the showdown is way superior but the thing about the showdown that the Marvel Universe actually wins is I took this thing out of package and it literally fell apart I mean I'm gonna show you now this thing is just broke everywhere the, the socket broke out okay this thing is just like snapping in half. I, anyways, uh, and then if you try to move any piece of it, everything just comes off. I mean, look at there goes the head, the torso. I mean, everything. You move anything, look at. I can literally deconstruct this entire figure. There it is. And I can even get these to come off really easy. I don't feel like it though because I kind of wedged them back in there with some uh, wax. But, yeah, I mean, come on. This is garbage. Like, yeah, so I was talking to J.D. Meg and probably end up sending this off to him. He said he could maybe fix it up for me. So I'll probably end up doing that. I'm, I might try to fix it first myself. I got a little idea how to get the socket out. Um, if I feel like it's not going to work, then... Yeah, I'll definitely send it off to JD because I know he'll do a good job on it. But, um, and also I want to paint the the eyes white too. I have the other one. Let me see if I can find it real quick. So here it is. Uh, this is the two pack one. See how the eyes are white in this. Um, it comes with this thing, which that thing looks really cool too. But I don't want to open it because I don't have any other three and three quarter inch Fantastic Four, so I don't need the thing. Um, and I'm too scared that Spidey's going to end up the exact same way as this one. You know, so, And this one, like I said, it, he has a spider sense feature on it. So he's got like a little hole 
peg back there, one for the flight stand, one for the spider sense. Why they made it green, I have no idea. You know, it should have been like a yellow or a white or a, even red. But green, I don't know, it just looks kind of crazy. But, I mean, it's alright. And then the bottom of this is supposed to go into like a disc with like points on it because this is like a game um, that I don't even have anymore. I don't even know what I did with it. I'm sure it's in one of my boxes somewhere, but I just use it in the foam. So that's it for that. Uh, these showdown figures are really cool looking. It's just I'm scared they're going to all be brittle like that, so I, I probably won't pick up anymore just because of that. I mostly only want three and three quarter inch Spider-Man villains, anyways. Uh, like when that new Craven comes out, I'm definitely gonna get that. I'm still on the hunt for that Lizard, and um, I'm kind of waiting to see if they bring out a better Venom. Uh, I was talking with Dave Vonner at the New York Comic Con, and he was saying that he wants to try to remake all the Spider-Man villains into the MU line. So. I'm definitely going to wait for that. I, I don't even think I'll get any of the Spider-Man, whatever they're called, three and three quarter line. Um, except for that lizard is the only thing I really want. But uh, And the new Spider-Man that's coming out for the MUs looks really good too. He comes with like a backpack, much better than this guy. And it looks like he's got all the articulation that you need. So that will be my three and three quarter inch limit will be Spider-Man figures. Okay, for those guys that watched my round three tournament video, um, I had a couple guys ask me who that was in the video, and uh, it's a Ultimate Green Goblin. I showed a video about how I made them before, but uh, like I said earlier, I've had a lot of new people coming to the channel and stuff like that. So, but if you want to see how to make them, there is a video up about how to make them. Um, it's really short. It's I mean, he's really simple to make, so it's not like it's a long video or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I had like a couple guys, like I had Dirt Nap ask me if it was uh, the Jackal, you know, which I do want to get a custom Jackal made. I think that would be pretty cool. But no, it's the Ultimate Green Goblin, so just a Hulk body with a Abomination head that I did a little modification to. So I might be back next week, and I might not. There probably won't be a show. Uh, it'll be Christmas. I might do like a Christmas uh, display next week. Not quite sure if I'll get around to it or not. You probably won't see anything new from me until after the new year. Uh, any guys that I have stuff I have to ship out for, be patient. You know, I, like I said, I just moved, so I'm trying to find stuff, and I'm waiting for stuff to come in the mail, and it's going to take longer because of the change of address, all that stuff. But just be patient. I'll get the stuff to you. I haven't forgot about any of you. And, um, yeah. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. And I will talk to you soon. Alright, peace.